Hey everybody! Hi! We know it's been a while, but we're back here to give you another Two Tipsy Bakers video. Uh, this one goes out to our biggest fan, Cassie. And, and of course, as always, to start our video, we're going to start with a drink, drink break. break! So today, we're making a bourbon pecan caramel apple pie from apples that we actually picked last weekend. We're using a pre-made crust, so we have that, but you'll also need light brown sugar, light brown sugar, unsalted butter, unsalted butter, heavy cream, heavy cream, sugar, sugar, you call me sugar, mm. caramels, caramel, mm. pecans, pecans or pecans, flour, flour, salt, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Oh, we ran out, so we're using allspice. It's the same. Allspice. Apples. Apple! No, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deleting that part. Okay. Apples! And your favorite bourbon. And your favorite bourbon. You know what that calls for? A drink, drink break. break! Gotta have your drink. You're gonna preheat your oven to 375. Good job. We're gonna start by making our topping. You're gonna cut your butter into small pieces. That was a lot of work. It's time for a drink break. In a food processor, you're going to put your Pecans. Pecans. Sugar. Sugar. Flour. Flour. Uh, cinnamon, brown sugar, salt. Okay. I'm adding a few caramels. <laughs> to me. So then you're going to take your crumble out of the food processor and put it in an airtight container and put it in the fridge while you're doing the rest of the stuff. Mmm, smells good. That's the bourbon. Next, we're going to take some brown sugar and some bourbon and a few pecans and let them soak while we do some other things so that we can put them on top. Sound good? Oh yeah. Next, we have to peel, cut, and core all of the apples, which means I need a drink, drink break. break. That was a lot of work. We deserve a Drink break. break. Now we're going to start making our filling. First, we're going to melt our butter in a large skillet. Our biggest one is cast iron, so but you can use whatever you need uh, over medium high heat. Um, so we're going to let the butter melt until it gets a little foamy and slightly brown. You don't want to burn it. But once it starts browning is when you want to put in your apples. So we still have probably about a minute or so. And do you know what a minute or so means? It means drink, drink break. break. Alright, our butter is getting foamy and starting to bubble. So we can add our apples. And we're going to cook them for about five minutes or so. 
we use Granny Smith, but you could also use Brayburn or Wine Sap. Those are good pie apples. Hear that sizzle? We have too many apples. So you want to cook your apples for about five minutes or so, but if your skillet isn't big enough, you want to make sure you stir it around to get the butter on all the apples. You know what I'm going to stir around? My drink. So the apples have been cooking and the butter, so now you're going to add your sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, or allspice mixture, and just kind of sprinkle it over the apples. And we're going to cut our heat down to a medium low. cinnamon sugar mixture for about a minute or so. We're gonna transfer them to a baking sheet with a slotted spoon to keep as much of the mixture in the pan as possible and so the apples don't get soggy. Now the apples are out of the mixture, we're gonna add our bourbon to the butter sugar mixture. We're going to cut it back up to medium heat and let that cook for about five minutes. Five minutes sounds like the perfect amount of time for a drink, drink break. break. Uh, so this mixture has been cooking for about five minutes or so. Um, what that does is cooks off the alcohol so you get the nice bourbon flavor without the alcohol content. Oh man. <laughs> but we are going to add heavy cream now and we're going to cook it for about another five minutes. So this is just making our caramel sauce for the filling. Alright, uh, so our sauce has been cooking for a few minutes. You want to get it kind of thick because you're making a caramel sauce for the filling. Uh, once you get it the consistency you want, which we have, we're going to cut it off so it can cool and we're going to start prepping our crust. So now we're going to work on the crust, which we chose a pre-made crust, which makes our job a lot easier. You got to press it in. <laughs> How do I press it in? You just want to kind of get it centered in your pan so your edges are more or less even. Um, so I decided to use these cool little pop out cookie cutters and I'm just going to make a little edge to go around the pie since we have the crumble, the pecan crumble to go in the center. And that's just adding one egg and one tablespoon of, you can use water or milk. Um, and we're just going to brush it on our pie edge. And that just keeps it from getting dry and it enhances the golden color of the pastry.
was a lot of work. I think that calls for a drink, drink break. break. Okay, our oven is preheated. Our crumble is ready. Our pecans have been soaking. Our apples are cooled. Our caramel sauce is done. Our crust is ready. It's time to put it all together. edges on there. I'm gonna uh -oh, put my little maple leaf in the middle. Adorable. And I'm gonna take these bourbon soaked pecans. Mm -hmm. Just kind of spread them out. The recipe didn't call for this either, but then it's gonna be delicious. Oh, well there's your alcohol. Here's my alcohol, and here's my alcohol. Mm-hmm. All right, so our pie is assembled. But before we put it in the oven, um, let's put some foil strips around the edge of the pie. We just worked really hard on these cute little leaves. You don't want to burn them. So we have our foil on here. If you're really fancy and you make pies a lot, you might have a thing called like a crust saver. You can use that too, but we're not fancy. But it's time to put this in the oven. Can you try this? Yeah? I can juggle. What? <laughs> so our timer went off. We're gonna check it. I had to put a piece of oil just on top about halfway through because the I didn't want the pecans to get too toasty. So we took the foil off, we put it back in, and we are almost done. Oh, it's so pretty and it smells delicious. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as we're gonna enjoy this pie. Bye! Bye.